Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsasi and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. We are nearing the end of uh, this series, but don't you worry, there are still a few more episodes because there are a few plants that we have not yet built a farm for. And the one I plan to tackle today are the nosh sprout or the nosh beans. And if we look at the requirements, uh, there they are. Um, they need carbon dioxide, dirt and ethanol if we uh, grow them uh, domestically. Um, and looking out this colony, I don't think we have the capacity to produce the amount of ethanol that we would need for a sustainable amount of uh, nosh beans. So probably we will grow them naturally. Uh, so we need carbon dioxide atmosphere and the temperature range uh, should be below zero. So that's basically everything that's light blue. And if we are looking, there are a few areas. This is all positive. This is, well, maybe we even have to cool down an area. This is our uh, um, slate wheat farm. So, thinking, oh yeah, here we would have a candidate. Uh, this is around minus 30. And I would guess as soon as we as we go in there and and place things of of our own, uh, this will heat up. So um, let's see. Then here, over here, we are we are in the range. Here we are too cold. So icebound not really ideal deal up here we have this set up for our batteries which are heating things up so eventually this part will get messed up here we don't have much much space um, here in the, in the lower part, we are near the, the top range, near zero, but here in, in this part, we might be able to plant a few. So, let's see. If we plant them naturally, we will have to to take care of planting top down, uh, right to left. And as we have seen here on this side, uh, if we go up and down with our layers where we plan on, that's a bit of, of a problem. So, Let's see then. On Absolite we cannot plant. So if we have a layer going there and then there. Well, that will not work there. But there we can have another one. Uh, 
And that probably means ladder here on this side. Not here. Not here. Um. Having more there, and then maybe final layer there. That could work out. So let's dig that part out and that's the farm project for today. But as always, there are still a few more things to consider. So last time we built the uh, pepper plant, but we also expanded out here into space where we now can uh, have solar power. So I assume that presently we have too much power for our power needs. And with that, we are not really running the petroleum generators often enough, which means we are not generating enough uh, uh, polluted water. Uh, so what we can do uh, against that is um, Consuming, consuming more power and a convenient way to do that is by uh, adding a few amenities like a recreation room with jukebox, arcade games and so on because these machines they are quite power hungry and I'm thinking we, uh, we will have them here on this side um, so we will have to bring power uh, over um, to that side and then finally on top here I think it's time to start with our rocket and of course the, the first rocket that will be uh, a steam powered rocket um, so we will have to figure out how to create the steam to power it um, we should need two rocket launches with steam before we can switch to a, a petroleum rocket uh, which is a bit bit better but those are the plans for today and uh, hopefully uh, we can see some progress pretty soon we have dug out the area here and set everything up uh, to receive the the plants so I think next thing is we want to drop off a pep in here then get at least one seed in here so we can destroy the, the refrigerator and then we basically should leave this alone so the pep can plant um, and probably I'm not sure where all my uh, seeds have gone because if I look here we should have six beans somewhere so but they are not in here 
though not sure where they are however here on top we have finished our rocket uh, we even have a, a pilot in there so all that's that's missing is a bit of steam and we will get that from here so there we have a pipe that we can uh, put in some water and this obsidian is rather on the hot side so once that turns to steam and uh, hopefully hot steam not just around uh, 100 degrees um, then we can pump that into our rocket and uh, go on and with this setup we should need 875 kilograms of steel to reach the, the lowest two uh, um, uh, asteroids and that should give us enough um, research uh, points uh, so we can uh, um, actually finish the, the research for petroleum and then we want that's that's back here there is the thruster but uh, the thruster that's that's basically useless so we have to let them finish here um, and maybe grab ourselves a, a pip and then we have set this to accept nosh beans we have this one on nine all the others should have seven let's make sure copy that over so that the bean goes in there and one refrigerator can hold exactly one bean and I think once the uh, how far long is, is that one almost done so maybe we will move those sprouts or those yet yeah, those sprouts in here uh, once they are ripe and uh, ready to be harvested and then of course we have to dig out this sprout so we can plant on on this side as well we have let plant a few beans they are not growing because uh, we still have polluted oxygen in here but uh, we can sort that out later and the way to get this working is a bit tricky and we can just see how this works we have to destroy the refrigerator and then we have to make sure that the duplicants leaves then we basically lock the door so the bean stays here on the floor and is not put into any of the other refrigerators and that way the the pip will eventually pick up the bean and uh, bury it and then we can go ahead next refrigerator up the priority and once uh, the bean is planted uh, we can open the doors for the duplicants again and repeat the whole process do you want to plant no you want to save uh, meanwhile up here uh, everything is going so let's connect here we get the uh, water in here we get the steam 
And the steam is pretty hot. So uh, let's pump this this in. With steam that hot, we should not have problem that it cools down, condenses in the in the pipe, uh, and and causes trouble. Um, which is often an issue. Uh, issue that we have here is that the that the pump is overheating. So let's disable the repair and once we have uh, a full rocket of steam uh, we basically uh, um, disable the, the water supply here we can sort this out for our second rocket and uh, then we should be good to go but as you can see the steam is put in it will take a while um, but I think we will we will get there in the end. The first rocket is ready to go, so uh, uh, let's just do that. Uh, we can reach the uh, nearest to uh, to uh, asteroids and launch. It should take roughly three cycles to, to get back. And once that's done, uh, we can then sort out the, the, the research. And down here, we're struggling a bit. The pip does not want to plant here. I suspect that's because we do have some plants up here that interfere with uh, with the algorithm of pip planting. So hopefully once we have dug those out should not be a problem anymore. Our pip has planted all the nosh beams, all five layers. It's a bit irregular, but it's growing so uh, we can clean up or wait for the duplicants to clean up uh, here on top we have already migrated to a petroleum rocket um, that's why we also have the oxalite refinery right next to it and research wise uh, we are almost done uh, here the uh, hydrogen engine and then some additional modules that require quite a few um, data packs uh, from outer space but I think we will get there and in the next episode we can start to dig out this area here on this side to have a setup where we produce liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen for our future rocket needs. But I think what we have that's that's good enough and for the next farm we actually need to get those materials from outer space and I think we will have to wait for the hydrogen rocket uh, to get enough boost uh, to get us what we need because the this one is is arbor maybe we get uh, uh, the the gas the not the gas grass the the water weed from there I uh, think for uh, the gassy moo and the gas grass 
we need to go out here 5,000 kilometers that's quite a way I don't think that we will achieve that with only petroleum but we will see in the next episode so stay tuned until then goodbye